welcome back to the arena guys today we are back with another episode and in today's episode we're going to be ranking all the 11 super troops in the game so let's get into it so in my previous video which i did about a few months ago we ranked some of the super troops that were in the game at that point and we got around four additional super troops along with the winter update so we're gonna rank all of them and update some of the rankings that we gave in our previous video so if you haven't watched my previous video yet I will leave a link in the description below you guys can go ahead and check it out and I'll also show you guys the previous videos rankings so we're gonna make some changes to them and add the new super troops into them so let's get into the first super troop so the first super troop is the super barbarian and I've got to say that this is not one of the best super troops. In my opinion, I think it's going to be the worst ever super troop in the game. For 5 housing space, just the 8 second rage ability is not really fantastic compared to the other super troops. So this is gonna end up on D tier. Next we have the super archer. With this insanely long range, you can easily snipe away buildings that are far ahead. But it's still really base specific and the 12 housing space you're not getting good value with the super archer and the hit point seems pretty low and it can go down quick so we're gonna put it just above the super barbarian at C tier. Next we have the super giant one of the strongest super troops in the game it's really powerful with the wall bursting ability the one problem about the regular giants is that when you use them they just get stuck on walls and your other troops move ahead of them but the super giants have the wall breaking abilities they can punch through walls easily and go ahead of your troops and protect them and ensure the tanking abilities and for 10 housing space this super troops provides insane tanking value and also have a lot more dps compared to the regular giant it's an amazing super troop but it's not one of the most popular ones that we see it's really not used that much so we're just gonna put it at the B tier. Next we have one of the most amazing super troops in the game, the Sneaky Goblin. The Sneaky Goblin, it's, it's a versatile super troop. You can use it to snipe away the town hall with a battle blimp. You can just snipe collectors from the outside, farm a lot of loot and also use the Sneaky Goblins to funnel the three housing space the 5 second cloak ability is so much good for the super troop and the damage is also so good that they can easily take down the town hall without any spell support. So this is a fantastic super troop with so much versatile so we're just gonna place it at the S tier. Next we have the super wall breaker. It's an interesting super troop. It's an amazing super troop as well. The one thing about using the regular wall breakers you just can't break a wall with just one unless you use a rage and they have so much less hit points and they go down quick even to a motor shot or a cannon so it's not highly reliable to use the regular wall breakers unless you're really skilled practiced a lot in order to use them that is where the super wall breaker comes in just for eight housing space they can promise you to take down the wall open up any compartment you want you can go just deeper into the base very easily with the super wall breakers. It's got only one use in the game that is to break walls and it does that job really well. So we're gonna place it at the A tier, a fantastic super troop. Moving on to the super wizard, the most heroic guy in our list and this I got to say the one that appeared in the winter update. This is an OP super troop with the new attack strategy that we're seeing where people just put a couple of super wizards inside a battle blimp, drop it on top of an area, use some invisibility spells and they just take something like a crazy 40% with just the CC troops. It's pretty crazy so it's an amazing super troop and the chain magic ability where you can just chain up to 10 units where it's not practical to just chain 10 buildings but say a skeleton traps or something like that. The 10 units is pretty good and also has some decent hit points and the damage is good when you compare it to a rage the super wizards can really deal a lot of damage with the chain magic you can just take a cluster of buildings in a flash so this is a fantastic super troop 
with the blizzard strategy that is evolving this super troop is gonna end up on s tier next we have the inferno dragon and to be honest with you guys i'm not a huge fan of the inferno dragon it's good on defense where sometimes forces the attacker to use a free spell but with the poison spell the inferno beam doesn't charge up fast enough to kill an enemy queen that's attacking so even on offense a baby dragon for 10 housing space is better than an inferno dragon even though the inferno dragon can deal more damage on high hit point storages or buildings so the inferno dragon is just gonna take the c tier moving on to the super minion one of the most hated super troops in the game or at least i hate it because it's so frustrating and annoying to deal it inside the clan castle and it's so powerful it's got so much dps and such a huge range to take down to demolish your queen charges but it is balanced because you still can use a poison spell and a freeze which you normally use for headhunters to deal with that but you just got to practice in order to deal with the super minions but it's really annoying to deal with them as well but on offense we really don't see the super minions used that much other than the flybird attack strategy where you put dragons and super minions and they're also good for funneling but we don't really see much used but it's an excellent super troop on defense so we're just gonna rate it at A tier Next we have the Super Valkyrie which seemed to be an amazing super troop in the stats but unfortunately it's not a really good super troop. It's got that huge speed and the 20 housing space is not it seems too much for the Super Valkyrie to be honest. The hit points is just 2000 it's not tanky enough. The damage is pretty okay and the rage spell that it drops is good to support other units but the super valkyries themselves they're not really good you might use them throw into a couple of yeti smash attacks to help the yetis once the super valkyrie goes down but in real it's not really working that good so it's not a fantastic super troll so we're just gonna place it at the c tier next we have the super witch one of the amazing OP super troops that we have in the game right now. This super troop is so awesome. It's so powerful. It's got the full potential of taking down a maxed out base so easily. But it does come with the high skill cap. But it's still a fantastic super troop. It's got so much tanking capacity. The hit points is so good. And the 40 housing space may seem too much. But in reality, the 40 housing space is so much worth for a super witch you're just gonna be using four or five of them in a raid and the healer support on top of the super witches is so amazing they can keep them alive the big boys are they are so tanky the super witches they've got the dps so this is a fantastic super troop especially at town hall 12 and 13 where you get to use them they are so good they can take down most of the bases if used correctly so the super witches they're gonna end at s tier on our list next we have the ice hound which is basically the lava hound and the ice hound has 10 extra housing space compared to the lava hound and for the 10 extra housing space you get a freezing effect the slowdown effect when the ice hound pops you get a complete area just frozen just like the ice golem and the freeze effect can be really helpful to freeze scatter shots or multi infernos near air defenses and also the slowdown effect can slow down the air defenses and make the ice hound survive much longer compared to a lava hound but the downside is the lava pops that you get from the lava hound is greater while the ice hound spawns a little bit less ice pops but the ice pops does have the slowdown effect so overall the ice hound is an amazing super troop you can combine the ice hound and the lava hound and use it on a lava loon attack it's so much good it's so versatile and it's an amazing super troop so we're just gonna place it at the a tier so that was my ranking of the 11 super troops that we have in the game right now let me know your list down below in the comment section do you guys agree with me if not make sure to let me know what 
I was wrong in this video. And also, if you haven't checked my previous ranking, you can probably check it out. You would love it. And also, you can check out my channel. If you're new to my channel, then make sure you guys subscribe for some amazing Clash of Clans videos. So, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, Clash on!